hi everybody it's been a long time i i have created any tutorials uh, i just had lately a request on explaining how do i uh, stack frames when there is a transit in front of the moon or the sun or in front of a planet so this is going to be a very quick tutorial so i'm using photoshop and if you go to file and scripts and you choose load files in this stack that's gonna be uh, the tool we're gonna need for the job so then you go browse and then you choose your frames which i already prepared this is i show you so this was the transit it was it's not a transit it's just the isis flew near uh, the north limb of the moon so you can see the ISS frames as the ISS zooms past so what I'm doing is I am going to select all the frames I would like to stack I click open and once all the files are loaded into uh, Photoshop then I press OK so you will see all the frames sort of shown in here in a second once the loading is done yes so from here it's basically it's a very simple task just make sure you can see all all these things what i see here if you can't see it i think you can do its window and you need to show or choose this particular bits to have these features here so what we do is very simple we highlight all these photos so it means that one so there's the top frame highlighted you scroll to the bottom and whilst you are using shift then you just select all of it and once you've done it you go here and instead of normal you are choosing lighten and by this you will see all the frames they do appear here my telescope and the tracking mount did not do an awfully good job on tracking the moon so that means if I zoom into the moon you will see it's pretty blurry because it's not stacked the same way as auto stack it or registax would do I don't use I don't really use that one I only use uh, auto stack it so what you can do is you gonna use exactly the same frames or even you go you can go higher um, with the frame numbers and uh, what I did is I, I tried to create a mosaic so, which I'm gonna show you in a second and on that mosaic basically you will see um, just a sec yeah like this one you can see I took separate video video files of certain part of the moon and I processed them and I stacked them together and you can see that here the quality is much better because I used a bigger file to stack this bit so this way you can actually replace certain parts let me see if I have the final one I think this is one of the final ones um, with some better surface moon surface but my the overall idea was basically this to have a photo like like this one um, because of I mean I wanted to have the full uh, image of the moon uh, from mosaics but I missed a couple of frames I'll show you which ones <laughs> it's quite funny actually um, not that funny when you realize that you actually made a mistake but otherwise it's not that bad so you can see here there's a bit missing and here quite a bit missing and yeah it's just screwed basically and i think i missed some in here but because it's the darker area it's not that obvious mistake but these two definitely so obviously this was my whole idea to have it as a full uh, mosaic and just one frame on the top which is yeah but it didn't happen so what you can do is I think I have a one photo just about the surface which I've already stacked uh, let me find it for you real quick and then I just used yeah this one so you see on this photo I already stacked 
the frames so I enhanced a little bit the overall quality of the moon only so what you do because you use the same frames the same camera angle you can just open this file as well and then we just gonna paste so if I zoom in you will see how much difference on the moon surface is you can see much more it's visible that you can you have more details so again it's not real complicated I mean how I do it I'm no professional what I do is I just select this photo copy and then just paste on top of this one we need to align these layers so before I am going to merge these two photographs you can see that they are not really aligned uh, the lunar surface so before I do anything I need to change the opacity here just bring it down a bit and then I am going to move and make sure you see with the left down up and right uh, keys you can just move fine move uh, the the lunar surface once I think it's aligned then I change it back so you can see if I turn it on and off they kind of on top of each other but because of the the the, the, the difference between the details you can see it's slightly different but what we're gonna do I'm, I'm going to put a so-called layer mask and then I am going to choose a brush I think it needs to be on black I think and then I am going to just go and basically merge this bit of the layer yeah it needs to be on black and you can see the the bits on the mask I basically I just allow basically the the the, the frame be below the layer be below this one to be visible so I'm basically overriding these details so yeah and once it's done it's done you just um, you can save it as one tip file or PNG or whichever you like obviously there's a whole lot of more room for post-processing but this is the basic principle of how to how, how I merge uh, certain frames um, yeah very important that your mount is tracking the object well so with the stacking you have left less problems uh, afterwards but if it's not luckily with softwares with auto stacker you can do that good luck with that and please send me your photos and I'm more than happy to share that on my website on spacestationguys.com there is a guest photo area in it and yeah I'm more than happy to share any of your work so make sure you send it to me on whatever platform you will find me as space station guys take care guys and happy ISS hunting see you guys ciao ciao